What up, people? It's your friendly neighborhood shooter broadcast you live from the studio. I'm back with another unboxing. I just got this from Amazon. Um, from the thumbnail, you can pretty much tell it's a uh, it's an eye catch. So this is the box here. Let's get this joint open. Uh, I buy a lot of newer stuff because it's always a good price. I mean, I don't want to necessarily be cheap with stuff, but sometimes you have to uh, do what fits your budget at that time. Now, in the studio, I'll normally shoot, uh, depending on what it is, I'll normally shoot with like a one light setup. And a lot of times you'll get that, that dark area right at the bottom of your uh, shot. And if you add just like a, a reflector, as you can see right there, if you just add the reflector at the bottom, it'll give you a nice feel. But what happens when you need um, a good feel light for those portraits? So I'm cruising, YouTube, of course, and I see a guy with like a, a U-shaped um, reflector and he took it outside and I was like, hmm, maybe that's something that I need to invest in because I have a couple of those five and one reflectors, but I was like, let me do some research, you know, and go down the list and see what this U-shaped eye catch reflector would do for me. So of course that's the box course it is newer I like them I really like them but let's see here I'm gonna open this up see what's to it okay that's the bag I don't need that they always come with nice little carrying cases so in the event that you want to take this um, on set or on location with you um, take that one light or uh, yeah I would probably take this one light here and then now bring this but you know it's a good good chance I mean it's a good hmm, it's a good uh, good to have an assistant with you is what I'm trying to say all right so first thing is this looks like the bracket that holds everything up I'll be popping that later. All right, so we got a couple rods here. Um, and from the picture, this looks like the rod that you would, um, actually the base that fits on top of the, uh, the light stand. And these may be the, the rod, the tension rods from the top and the bottom part there. So let's we'll see that, sit those down. See what else? And we have a couple bags with probably killing your sound right now. Let's get rid of those bags there. And then this is the actual reflective piece. So it's actually quite quite large. So if I step back. Now I'm 6'1", and this is right now it's touching the floor. So it's touching the floor and it comes up to about my shoulder. So if you need like a height reference, I'm 6'1", um, and this rolls all the way down. As you can see, you can move back so you can kind of get the gist of it. So this is, this is quite big. So put that down. You have the gold and I think this is just a gold one. I think this is just a gold. Because that's the black and silver. And then these are the actual rods here. So I'll take these out as a group. So these are the actual rods that you use to get your curve on. Use to get your curve on. All right, let's sit those down. And then that's it. That's nothing else in the case there. So really, you need just the the main one, unless you're going on location and you take the the gold one. It's probably a good idea just to keep that in the bag. 
You need your, let's see how many rods these are. It is two, four, six. So only six rods go in there. The main holding bracket and then just the two rods at the top part. So that's the unboxing. I'm finna put you guys in the time lapse as you watch me put this together. So let's go over to the studio area and let's build this. So, as you can see, um, it took some doing to put it together. Uh, the eye catch, it's, um, the rods are, I believe, are aluminum, so not all that great. Uh, but the, the tension rods that's up here toward the top are, I believe, uh, a form of a good metal, good sturdy metal. Um, probably the same metal that's made out of your C-stands or whatnot. Um, this, however, I did not know that, but this uh, top piece is more of a stretchy material, so it does pull the tension and eventually your wrinkles will fall out of here. Um, I'm not so sure about how portable it is, uh, because for one, you would have to, and maybe I did it wrong, but uh, I assembled all the, the rods first and just slid them in, and then you have to tighten them down. The screws that, that, that are on the base, they're stuck to the base. So the screws don't come out, it's just the top pieces. So if you ever lose the top pieces, you can go to Menards, Home Depot, whatever, Lowe's, and just get some other screws, but then you'll have to screw it in there, but hopefully buy some thumb screws. Um, but overall, for the price, I believe this was uh, 119 at the time of this video, um, I'm pretty satisfied. I didn't expect it to be as large as it is, um, but it's overall pretty good build quality. Um, I'm just, uh, it looks like everything is double stitched, so it's fine. And then uh, if you can see it, the, you got the black area and then the white area. The white area is for when you wanna give that, that Velcro for your, uh, your other color. So if you wanna pop a different color, if you're doing some different type of portraits or anything like that, um, honestly, this may stay in the bag until I'm dealing with some more outdoor lighting. Um, but we will put this to the test and see if this trusty there you go. That's how you fold it up. So we'll see if the five and one can measure up against the eye catch. Ooh, that's kind of like a. So, got my girl Bianca here. She's gonna help me out with the demonstration between the little eye catch, the newer eye catch versus just the regular um, uh, five in one reflector. So, we're gonna take a few shots just so we can see the difference in the pictures there. So, the first shot, ready to be? Mm -hmm. Two, three. One more, two, three. All right, so I got that changed over. Um, we got the five in one reflector. We're gonna take two shots with it just to see the difference between using the reflector versus the eye catch. Let's see it. Ready? Two, three. And two, three. All right, so with this one, there is no reflector, just so you can see what the difference is, if it can help you, and how it can help level up your headshot game. Ready, B? Yeah. Two shots, one, two, one, two. 
So if you like this video, throw them thumbs up in the air, click them like you just don't care, shoot that arrow at that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. Thank you for watching. This has been the newer clamshell eye catch thing unboxing. Keep it real with y'all. See you later.